Hi students, welcome back and today we are going to learn about position of carbon in reactivity series in the metal. Hmm. Position of carbon. So we need to know where is the position of carbon. Let me find the position of carbon. Is it at here? Uh, no. Let's go up a bit. We decide this chapter, it always need to refer to the this diagram. Carbon, we can see here carbon. You see or not? Carbon and hydrogen. Why they put red color? The reason they put red color because they are not in this um, metal category. So, but they just want to put it here to show the reactivity towards the metal towards that thing. For example, aluminium is more reactive than carbon. So, aluminium can kick carbon out. Aluminium can kick carbon too. Potassium, sodium, calcium, magnesium, aluminium can kick carbon out. The down one cannot. Zinc, iron, tin cannot kick carbon out because you, you are not that reactive compared to other metals and carbon is just a level below aluminium. Same for hydrogen as well. Potassium, sodium, calcium, magnesium, aluminium, and zinc can kick hydrogen out. But iron, tin, lead, copper, mercury, silver, gold cannot kick hydrogen out. What does this mean? Okay, so basically this is the experiment they want to do. Okay, we know that carbon is just one level below aluminium. After that is... Uh, so basically, aluminium is upright. Magnesium, kalau, not sodium, magnesium, aluminium, all is up here. And zinc, ferrum, iron, and so on is at the bottom. So, so let's look at the experiment. To determine the portion of carbon reactivity series, so they want to use zinc oxide, aluminium oxide, and lead oxide. So basically, from here, I can see that zinc oxide with carbon. Okay, so for this equation, we know that zinc is at the bottom, carbon is more reactive. So I should say carbon, okay? Carbon can kick the zinc out because carbon is more reactive than zinc. So this one got reaction because... So there is a reaction for this one. Aluminium and oxide with carbon, is there any reaction or not? There is no reaction. Because aluminium is higher than carbon. Okay, aluminium is higher than carbon, there is no reaction. Just now I said aluminium kick it out because... Um, how to say, I, I thought this one is being combined, but... Eventually, aluminium is already combined with other elements. So it cannot kick it out. You get what I mean or not? Means it is already combined with other elements. Lead to sulfide. So lead is at the bottom. There is a reaction at here. So carbon can kick this oxygen out and will form carbon dioxide. This one, when it is already a compound means compound means with mixed with other people it cannot kick it out because it is more reactive okay so let's look at this one material carbon powder and so on and we put the crucible teacher demonstration okay and what do we see zinc oxide and carbon what are the observation okay so the observation uh, zinc and lead, there is a flame burn because we already know uh, zinc and lead is at the bottom. So the carbon can, the carbon is more reactive, can kick the other thing out. Okay, so there is a reaction because eventually it will form carbon dioxide because carbon more reactive, it will kick the zinc, I would say kick the metal out. Yeah, I would say like this, okay, kick the metal out. 
for aluminium aluminium is even more reactive but the carbon is below so the carbon can kick the down one but the carbon cannot kick the upper one when especially we are if we are talking there is already a mixture of compound means like magnesium oxide or what is a compound so carbon can kick the down part but carbon cannot kick the upper part because carbon is less reactive than the metal so we look at here there is no change reacting with carbon even though i don't do the experiment but we can guess the answer where zinc is less reactive than carbon lead less reactive than carbon correct or not zinc and lead is at the bottom so zinc and lead is less reactive than the carbon and aluminium is more reactive than the carbon so carbon you cannot kick aluminium out because aluminium and oxygen already fall in love carbon is not strong enough to kick aluminium and oxygen out complete the word equation in reaction with carbon if any zinc oxide plus carbon so what is the reaction for this one um, zinc oxide plus carbon since carbon is more reactive than as my drawing to since carbon is more reactive than zinc carbon will kick this out this one also carbon will kick a lead out this one no reaction because carbon cannot kick aluminum out aluminum stronger than carbon so the answer i will write is this one will be carbon zinc will kick out ma. so zinc plus carbon dioxide zinc plus carbon dioxide this one no reaction you can write no reaction or not no change no reaction and for this one because carbon is stronger than lead so carbon will kick the lead out so it will become lead plus carbon dioxide hmm that's it hopefully you understand because this one no change again how i know look at this page because carbon is at here aluminium is stronger than carbon so you know, that's why in this whole chapter you need to memorize this if you don't memorize this you you find it very difficult to do this chapter that's why they put in the first page okay you need to remember this Okay, let's continue back here. Name the matter that is less reactive than carbon. Explain your answer. Maybe I can ask one of my students. Okay, name the matter that is less reactive than carbon. We already know that zinc, iron, lead is at the bottom. So according to this experiment, you know there's a reaction. So name the matter that is less reactive. So there are two metals. Two metal that is less reactive, which is zinc and lead. Okay, now we already settle the first part. Now I want to settle the second part. Why? Um, how can we explain this? Okay, so for this one, uh, I will say the answer is like this. Okay, mean the metal is less reactive than carbon. Explain why. So we we'll say zinc and lead. Explain why because there's a reaction. Carbon is located on top of zinc and lead in the reactive series of metal um, or you can use the answer in your textbook with stated like let me type the answer in your textbook uh. okay just let me copy this one Okay, oxide of metal are which are less reactive than carbon will turn the metal will turn into metal when heated with carbon. You 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 get what does this answer mean or not? Actually, it also mean the same thing, but I, I don't want to type this answer because I scared um, you will not understand. Oxide of metal is referring to the 
of this oxide of the metal which are less reactive than carbon means the reactivity series of the metal so since the metal is less reactive than carbon so it will turn into metal and carbon dioxide you, you get what i mean but i prefer to use my own answer okay this is my own answer okay carbon is located on top of zinc and lead in the reactivity series or we can yeah okay or we can use this answer based on the result in the activity complete the following sequence to show the arrangement of the following increasing reactivity okay okay so the answer for this one is aluminium carbon zinc and lead um so you this one how you know because we did memorize this in page one two three it's easier rather than you want to see the experiment and you need to think hmm what is the answer but if you memorize it is easy just just type okay and then according to the page um see the reactivity series of metal wow got four two more questions here given application of the portion of carbon the reactive series of metal for industrial use explain your answer so why one application usually carbon used to do what carbon carbon what is the function of carbon for metal extraction okay let so metal which are less reactive than carbon the reactivity series of the metal can be extracted from the ore through the reduction of oxide by this metal by carbon okay what does this mean later we will learn this in the um blast furnace furnace in the furnace huh? how does we get the metal because the metal that we get is only the rock the stone we need to process it so that it can become a metal we want to process it so we want to process it we need a lot of money because we want to make metal so one of the way they can process it by using carbon because carbon is easily available for example in like coke okay coke -E, coke not the coke that you link uh, it's a coke it's a, like a stone where you can easily get so by using the coke the stone and the bauxite or uh, uh, sorry the the thing like for example the iron oxide how you want to mix it it actually saves a lot of cost because you just use two rock and you mix it you burn it and you get the metal so this one we will learn in the later chapter okay at the at here we will learn Let, maybe we just go through a bit first like this one because blast furnace you can get iron by mixing the cork and the iron ore because iron ore is just a stone a rock and you want to get the metal what you need to do is you just find the cork cork is like a stone but full of carbon burn it we haven't go to details lah but somehow you burn it you get all the the one thing up there the one one down here so you get all the metal so um yeah uh, we haven't learned this but that is a brief introduction okay lastly underline the correct answer for the following statement if carbon can remove oxygen from metal oxide it means carbon is more or less um certain more or less if carbon can remove the oxygen it means carbon is more reactive than carbon up ma, up then it remove the oxygen if carbon cannot remove the oxygen it means carbon is less reactive than the metal okay so that's it for today's video i hope you enjoy it and i see you next time bye bye